Hi, this is James Robertson with Syncom Systems. I thought I'd go through a brief demonstration of Web Velocity and in the service of that, do a five minute introduction to Smalltalk. So let's get started by creating a small application. We'll call this Hello World, the canonical example. We're going to do without databases. And once that comes in, we'll come over here to Overview and say we want a new web component. Now we want this registered as an application and we'll call this something simple like hello. And now this is the five minute introduction to Smalltalk when I go to source code. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go to rendering, which is one of the methods. I have a method here called render content on. This is how components in Seaside display themselves. Now if you look down here at the example piece of code that they give you, I am going to come all the way over here to the end of this and I'm going to take the end tick mark off that. Now I'm going to put a little bit of fluff in here. I'm going to add an instance variable. And the reason for this is actually fairly simple. I'm going to put in value gets assigned 1 plus 2. Now, what I've explained here is a couple of things. Assignment is colon equal. The plus sign is actually a message being sent to the one object with an argument of two. So there I have binary messages. They're consisting of simple one and two character messages from a limited set of characters and they always take one argument. Now down here below I have HTML heading. Heading is a message sent to an object called HTML. Then I have this level colon message. That is a keyword message. It takes one argument and the argument immediately follows the keyword. I can have as many keywords as I want, and then I have as many arguments as I have keywords. So in this case, I'm going to replace this with value, just so that I can use my silly little addition up here. And then instead of self class name, I'm going to make this more like hello world, and put in hello world. And here, I have a string literal. I have tick mark, hello world, tick mark, and then the period. That's the terminator in Smalltalk, so I've terminated an expression there, and here, and here. And then finally, being that I want to be a halfway decent programmer, I will put in a comment, again, in the service of demonstrating Smalltalk. Comments in Smalltalk are double quotations, so I have them there. Now, I can't nest them. They all have to be independent, but that's a comment in Smalltalk. So that's pretty much it. Let's now compile that method by hitting Control-S. And just to show you that what I did is all legal small talk and works, we'll go back out to Web Velocity up here. And we will now come out to our Hello World application, go to Entry Points, and there it is, Hello World. So it all works, and in five minutes I've given you the basics of small talk syntax. Now, there's a lot more to cover. Actually, not a lot more. There's more to cover. There are some things like namespaces and cascading and block closures that I didn't get to. But I've given you the basics of Smalltalk syntax in a couple of minutes in the service of writing a small example application.